Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the WatchOS 10 Beta 8. Oh my god, it is such an amazing day today. Let me know down in the comments below, are you guys excited for today? Because, oh my god, this day is going to be amazing. We have a lot of new iOS updates and not just that, we have Vision OS 3. Vision OS Beta 3 update as well. That is really cool. And if that was not the end of the topic, we have new Apple invites as well today for the iPhone 15 Apple Watch event. Damn, today is going to be amazing. There are so many things going on today. I will be making a lot of videos for you guys. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification if you haven't already. Let's get right into today's video and talk about the Watch OS 10 Beta 8. What's new in this update? And also let's talk about is it worth updating to this version or not? Because we are really close to the public release of Watch OS 10. So it's better you should wait for the public release because it's less than two weeks of Way. this video is shot on the iphone 14 pro so yes it is one of my first time shooting on the iphone 14 pro for my youtube videos let me know down in comments below do you like this the studio part of the video is shot on the iphone 14 pro let me know down in comments below do you like this video and do you like this set up or not i will make sure to continue doing this in the future then only anyways getting to the topic i'm so sorry for wasting your time but i'm just so excited for today so talking about the watch os 10 beta 8 the number one thing that is new here is the scoopy watch face oh my god it is a favorite watch face come on i'm so hyped up right now i know you can just hear it from my voice because we have so many new things going on especially the apple event let's go this is so exciting i can't wait for the iphone 15 pro apple watch and all and not to forget ios 17 watch os 10 mac os so many things are coming up i'm so excited let's talk about the beta 8 anyways so the beta 8 has some bug fixes there aren't any new features just clearing it out before hand because i don't want to waste your time there aren't new features on the beta 8 but there are a lot of bug fixes and the battery is still trash yes i'm just concluding everything for you so that you don't have to watch the full video till the end and not waste your time but still it is not wasting your time come on you are watching tech hype you are watching your boy i'm not gonna waste your time come on you have subscribed here just for me right so i'm not gonna waste your time don't worry boy the battery on the watch os 10 beta 8 is still trash the battery is so freaking bad i have to charge it before ending my day for sure like around six o'clock i have to put it on the charger because it at that time it is at around uh, 10 to 15 percent which is really low and i can't even make this watch last a whole day number one reason being because my battery health is also at 84 percent that is really really bad i mean the battery charges the replacement cost for the watch is really cheap as compared to iphones but yeah obviously i don't think so we should deal with all that because watches are not supposed to get the battery replaced again and again so yeah there is that the only reason i'm talking about the battery replacement and all because the battery is trash on the watch os 10 betas and if the battery is trash that means you have to charge it again and again which stresses the battery which will end up degrading your battery health of your watch which will end up getting you a charge of uh, i guess it is like 60 dollars or something yeah a uh, 45 50 dollars something that much amount of money to get your watch battery replaced the battery is not good on the watch os 10 since the beta one i haven't had really good time on the watch os 10 in terms of battery life yes everything the new interface new apps new ui all of it is great but it is costing me a lot of battery life and battery life means battery health degradation which is really bad fingers crossed it's not been a lot of time that i'm using the beta 8 on my watch it's just been like not even an hour that i have been using this firmware on my watch so fingers crossed let's hope the battery is better on the beta 8 but of course i can't really assure you right now because i haven't been using it i will use it for a day and update you guys over on my twitter at the rate tech hype you can follow me there or you can just comment down below 
I'll tell you how has been the battery life regardless of the experience I have had. By the time you are watching this video, I have been had a good experience of battery life, I'm sure. Anyways, I will update you guys on my follow up. The performance seems to be pretty much the same. There isn't anything much to talk about in terms of performance. There is new Snoopy watch face animations. The dark mode animation is new and earlier that was here also but the animation is a bit changed it he just runs a bit faster compared to the previous beta and there are two three more new animations on this watch face as well in my opinion if you haven't installed the watch os 10 yet please wait because the battery life is not good at all i would suggest you guys to wait because we are less than two weeks away from the official release of watch os 10 i am so hyped up and i will be coming up with a lot of videos for you guys so make sure to turn on notification and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already peace out and I will catch you guys in the very next episode.